Hey guys, this is Ryan with the Dive Source. Today we're here to talk about AV Builder and do a how to rigging video for the 36, the 48 LTD special with the reel and without the reel, and all the way up to the AV Builder 54 special. We'll talk about the benefits of free shaft, mono line, and coils. When, where, and why to use it. So you got your regular line that comes with AV Biller. I'm not a big fan of it. it tends to get tangled up. Uh, so I just do away with it and I rig it myself. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, you got a couple options as, as far as what kind of line you want to use to rig it. You got your regular tackle leader. I'm sure you guys have seen this just like in any tackle store or anything, same stuff. Um, kind of really doesn't hold its memory, gets real tangled real easily, and not to mention it doesn't really have a high quality as far as like testing pounds so it will break as you know if a cobia amberjack big fish gets wrapped up around a piling or something this is going to snap off and you're either going to a lose your shaft and the fish or at least just the fish so i'm not a fan of this stuff uh, and then you got your mono line which is thicker definitely holds its, its frame and memory so it doesn't really get tangled up quite as easily and it's a hell of a lot stronger than that leader line is going to be um this is what i prefer to use and then if you want to stick and then if you want to steer clear of the lines all together, you got your uh, your coil. This is like like a thick kind of like composite plastic um, coils up. Comes to 50 to 20 foot. Um, if you're going to be shooting anything smaller than a 54, just go with the 20 foot coil. Trust me. Once it gets stretched out a little bit, these 50 foot coils don't tend to really hold. So as you can see, if you want to put it like on a 42, this is going to be dangling in the way. So just go ahead. Some you know in this case. Shorter is better. All right, first thing I'm gonna rig up this 54 special. Right now I got it set up for free shafting. Um, I tend to free shaft when I'm targeting smaller species like hogfish, snapper, flounder, anything small like that. Um, it's a good idea to do that because you'll spend more time detangling than you will actually shooting fish. Um, the negative side of that is, however, when you're down there and you are free shaft, set up for free shaft and a nice size cobia, amberjack, Wahoo, Mahi, etc. swims by, and you were set up a free shaft, you are not going to be able to shoot that fish. You are either A, you're going to lose your shaft, B, bend your shaft, or if you're lucky, you'll just shoot the fish, it'll go right through, and you just won't get the fish. If you're very, very, very lucky, you'll stone the fish, which is, we'll talk about that later. Alright, so, very important, you want to make sure whenever you save your gun, you got a bungee. Okay? Um, this is going to help you quite a lot when you're taking those Hail Mary shots. And again, we'll talk about, you know, and technique and all that a little bit later on. First, let's just get you set up for, for shooting. So you want to string your bungee through the loop here. At your muzzle. Alright, once you got your hardware all set up on your mono, go ahead and clip it to your bungee and we are going to string it along the gun once and twice. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the other side of the mono line through the shaft spring and keep in mind when you're doing this you want this to be real tight if you keep it loose like that when you're traveling throwing it off the boat it's gonna jump off this track right here and it's gonna get all tangled that's the point of the bun that's another plus of the bungee you can put this real tight keep it in line so I'm gonna pull this tight try to get it as tight as possible when I'm measuring it. So there we go right there. Go ahead and cut it. Leave a little bit of excess, you never know. Just a thick model on there. And now all we gotta do is put a crimp in there and crimp it. 